What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again back with the Bank of the Day, guys, on the upcoming Jordan 5 A Ma Manier Dawn. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. If you guys use the internet for work or for leisure, which more than likely you do both for one or the other because you're watching this video, having a VPN is very, very important. From the leisure side, whether it's you know streaming, being able to get access to shows that you might not be able to get access to at the current location you're at, or even getting cheaper flights for flights that you need to take for personal or for business. And if it's something that you do on business side, like maybe like me, that you know I wanna make sure that my location is not able to be easily tracked by hackers, malware, spyware, and all of that. And even for video games, maybe you have issues connecting to certain regions, using a VPN can become very, very beneficial to you. And right now, Surfshark has an extraordinary deal out here. One of the biggest deals that I've ever done when it comes to VPNs. Enter the code Tony D and get six additional months for free. I like that, it rhymes. Enter Tony D and get six additional months for free. I like that. So take the advantage, hop on it right now, and at least just try out a VPN and see if it's something that you need. It's free. You can never have too much security when on the internet. There's tons of people stalking and preying on people's information. Don't be one of those people out there that get your information confiscated. Trust me, I've been in those shoes. So check it out. Check the link down below. Check Tony D out and uh, use the code and enjoy. And guys, if you guys don't know right now, we have a giveaway going live on the channel. It is for the Jordan 12 Cherry. All you guys gotta do is check out the description down below and subscribe to the two channels, one being this channel, as well as my secondary channel, as well as following both of my Instagrams. Down below in the description will be links to everything that you need to know. And last but not least, comment down below on this video with your Instagram handle. On November 15th, I will pick one of you guys or girls to send out this Jordan 12 Cherry as a token of appreciation for you guys and girls for being a part of the Two Wild crew. And you guys might see right here, we have a couple of Jordan 1 Reimagined Royals. Well, we all know that the Reimagined Royals for the most part was, uh, you know, sitter. Nothing wrong, great shoe. Everything that I talked about for the most part, I still stand on it today. I did think they were gonna sell out and moving forward, I gotta watch what I say. I gotta take my L's and take my W's you know, the same the same way. I was wrong on these, I was wrong on the satin. So moving forward, now I know how to go. But with all that being said, we will be doing $1 bids on these bad boys right here. So this is a perfect opportunity for you guys and girls to be able to get this shoe from below retail on November 15th. I'll be having a live stream on Whatnot, and all you guys gotta do is sign up down below with the link to my Whatnot, right? And when you sign up and when you make your first purchase, you can get up to 10 to $200 and whatnot credit. To make things better, if you sign up today or if you sign up in the past with my link, I will have $1 whatnot and apothecary socks available for you guys and girls to make purchases on that is only available for the new time whatnot sign up. So come pull up, check the link down below in the description and also bookmark my show, which will be November 15th. And right now I have it scheduled for 8 p.m. And we will be also doing a show on November 30th or sometime around there, scheduled to change, but we'll be doing an additional giveaway on my whatnot on that date as well. So pull up, we will have these shoes all available for $1 bids and we'll have even some more sneakers to add into the mix that you guys can get for below retail. Not resale, retail. These right here, I can see these going for 150, 160, you know, to somebody out there that's, you know, lucky. And then everybody who purchases a $1 sock on the whatnot, when you purchase that $1 sock, you're gonna get 10 to $200 back in whatnot credit. Spend a dollar, get 200 back. Spend a dollar, get 10 back. Spend a dollar, get 20 back. It's the luck of the draw, but you're gonna get more back than what you put in coming through on the whatnot show November 15th. Link down below, sign up and bookmark the show. Let's get it. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I have a lot of videos to be pumping out within the next couple of weeks, so make sure y'all are tuned in, please. Turn on the post notification bell. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but I got about 10 pairs of sneakers and 10 pairs of reviews to pump out for you guys and girls. First things first, we're bringing something different to the table today that uh, I'm happy to actually show on this channel because it's been quite some time since this guy's made it on my channel. And we're stirring some things, doing some things different. And today guys, we have the Adidas Gazelle Indoors 
Sean Witherspoon. Now these are the Collegiate Green. These are set to release on November 17th. Retail supposedly at $140. We recently got the release of the Milo colorway and this is the Collegiate Green is what it's called. And of course, if you guys don't know, Gazelle Indoors, it's a classic model, you feel me? Indoors for soccer, but at the same time has made its way into the fashion world, to the casual world, and all the above. I wear campus, I've worn Gazelles, I've worn Sambas. Sambas have made a reemergence kind of to, you know, this streetwear fashion and all that. And the Gazelles are very close to that, in my opinion. Some people might like the Gazelles more than the Sambas, me personally. I mean, they look pretty much the same, I'll be honest. But Sean Witherspoon, back once again with Adidas. We know Sean Witherspoon for, of course, the Nike Air Max 97 slash one, but in reality, I think Sean's done more collabs with Adidas now than Nike at this point. But we have here, as stated before, the Collegiate Green, and I believe it's like another name, it's the name of the shoe, the, uh, well, not said C Green on here, size eight and a half, uh, SW Gazelle Indoor. And what Sean has always been kind of about, you know, specifically with Adidas as well, is just pushing that, you know, earth, you know, keep earth green, you know, time, trying to stay away from those leathers and, you know, anything that can mess up, I guess, the carbon emissions in the world and all that, since, hence why this one is made out of hemp. The previous gazelle that just dropped, I believe, like I said, a month ago, called the Milo, was also featuring that hemp. And you can actually see the hemp right there on the back as well. And in my opinion, very, very light shoe, nice shoe, something different I wanted to bring to the channel. And the last pair, like kind of is going for like, that's like $300. But these right now are sitting around that 150. So maybe these might be a little bit more easier to obtain. It's up to you at the end of the day. If you guys want to see a review down below in the comments, let me know. Like Tony, yeah, give us a review. Give us something different. Let me know because I want to give y'all something different. And I would love to hear you guys, you know, speak out. Speak out what, what more you would like to see than just typical Jordan and Nike. Bam! But overall, real solid, real solid on the hemp material. You have that all white embroidery going out the whole entire shoe. And what I would, I think at least what the stripes are is a vegan leather. The same goes on with that tongue. They have cork on the insole, which for the most part is pretty spongy, you know, pretty buoyant, you feel me? And then of course this gum bottom sole that features the Adidas logo and the Adidas original logo up and down on it. Extremely light, so something that you can wear that's more than likely pretty comfortable for a typical, you know, walks in the park or wherever the hell you want to go wearing this. This is a very casual, nice looking shoe. And as I stated before, something I wanted to just do different on this channel. Retails $140. And I'm at a like I'm at full capacity on sneakers right now. Sooner or later, I'm be doing reviews and the damn shoes gonna be on my back. You feel me? But I really do kind of like these. Like I kind of would like to have this in my collection. I'm gonna sit and think about it because I just want something different. I just I just literally want something different right now. I want some Adidas, I want something different. I like Sean Witherspoon, what he's been doing for quite some time. I passed that on his superstars. I think he's done some ZX Boost or ZX Flux. He's done a couple of other models and as well as this Gazelle model. So, you know, it, it's something different. The bag as well is hemp and you see that earth guy on there with the S shape for Sean. And uh, you got a little hemp bag to go along with it, you feel me? The box has the peace symbol with Sean Witherspoon, which is also featured on the inside of the shoe as well in that cork. So something different, Gazelle Indoor, eight and a half, C Green. And uh, these are releasing, as far as I know right now, November 17th, as far as the date goes right now at this moment. 140 on the retail, pretty fair. Sambas go for around, I wanna say what, 100 or 110 or something. These are a little bit more, collab, name, you know, call it what you want, a little bit of spice on top of it. Next up, we got a shoe that's actually released already. It released, uh, let's we'll say yesterday, or two days, depending on when this video dropped. November 7th is when it released. And this is the Nike Vermeero 5 Plum. Now, these are called the Plum Eclipse. And I did not know this until this video, like today. I saw the colorway, I just didn't know. This is another women's colorway. Salute to the ladies. Another women's colorway right here as well. Salute to the ladies. But this one, I gotta keep. This one's coming with me. I've owned three Vimeo so far. The first pair I bought, which were a brown pair, if you guys remember. Actually, you might not remember because I did it on Harrison Neville's channel. I bought those. They're nice. They were size eight, though, and they were a little too tight, so I got rid of them. I have a pair of all red ones. You've seen it on the channel before previously. Now I got these plums. I mean, look. I mean, this is the fit right here, right? Is this the fit? I know y'all don't like to match too much. I'm looking at, like, this is a fit, bro. This is a fit. I'm, I'm going to... 
I gotta throw this up on Instagram pretty soon. This, this right here. I know y'all don't like like some people don't like to match too much, but bro, I'm still like I'm still matchy. Like I'm not stupid matchy. Like I'm not no goddamn Simon Says red light, green light, blue fish. I mean, I'm not even making sense. But I'm not that goddamn matchy. Okay, I don't need to have the shoelaces matching the hat and the fucking under brim with the little. You know, I don't gotta do all that. But I mean, am I wrong? I didn't do this on purpose. I promise I didn't do this on purpose. These are nice though. Puma Eclipse, these are a women's colorway uh, on the box, size 10, with the men's at the eight and a half on the bottom, so unisex at the end of the day. I think Nike knows what they're doing at the end of the day when it comes to this, but the Vimero 5 has been a hit for the most part. They've done fairly well. Uh, I think these what, they retail like at 150, I wanna say. I'm not gonna lie, can I, can I sound like a big boy real quick? Can I sound like some like, like some big, like some like, uh, you know, uh, not a tough guy, but a big guy, big baller? I, I don't look at my receipts, man. You know, cut the check, man. Wham, wham, thank you, ma'am. Hey, I want mine off the top. Cut the check, you feel me? You feel me? RIP Shotty Low. Yeah, 160 is how much these went for, and these are going on in GOAT right now for 180, but they're also on some other sites for 180. Slam Jam 180, so they might be still sitting various pairs of this particular model if you're interested. Like I said, to y'all that think I only like, like hype, hype shoes and stuff, like I don't, I like normal shoes too, guys. But I, I'm pretty sure I won't get the recognition or love for that, right? Just whatever. Tony's just a hype beast that likes shit like this, right? Which is, of course, bam! Check it out. Yep. Now we hype beasting it. Now we hype beasting it. Man, oh man. I'm on my ear. The dawn colorway. Now, there is a dusk and a dawn colorway. This particular one, of course, is the Dawn colorway, and these are set to release on November 17th for a retail price point of 200 in 10, nope, 20, nope, 25, nope, 30, nope, 35, nope, 40, nope, 45, nope, maybe you, you gotta be 190 then, right? Nope, 250, 50, yes, 250. I, I mean, are, I mean, are we surprised? I think previous ones have been around that 250. I, I can't remember to, at this point, but like we had, of course, the 12s and various other pairs that have retailed for that $250. But we have here the Don colorway coming in at that 250. And I gotta say, I like them. Call me a hype beast. Call me what you want. It is what it is at this point. I don't give a goddamn what people got to say. I like my hype shit, I like my normal shit. I like my normal shit, I like my Pumas, the ones you call bricks, the shoes you call bricks and sitters, I like them. So when I get the hype, you better like me as well, okay? Don't only hate on me when I get the hype shit and then, and then clown on me when I get the, and then clown on me when I get, you know, the bricks. Cause I, I do it all on this channel, you feel me? But this shoe right here in this representation is of black excellence. The shoe itself is brought from what James Whitaker himself said, black identity is not a monolith. And that the black culture itself is well more diverse than we actually think. And even though we're well more diverse, we are really all kind of the same and share the same passion in the things that we love and do. And this shoe's a little bit different, in my opinion, based upon the wording, based upon what it's kind of going after. Because we have in this, you know, previous tense, what previous, you know, Ama Manier collabs, there's been some, I guess, people that feel like it's a black person shoe or only black people can wear it. I never really thought about that. I've always thought about the message itself is representation of, you know, what uh, black culture and all that, but I don't feel like it was something that you should be ashamed or could not yourself get involved in with. Because even in that sense it's well, from what James Whitaker said, that's what he wants. He wants the world to not look at the black identity as a monolith, to realize that there's way more to it. And what that means, and even been stated in the discord, is that he wants not just the black identity to be respected or represented or appreciated, but the black people that come along with it. And what I mean by that is, you see social media, you see tons of things that the black culture itself has created and then people take it and run with it instead of up in the people that actually created those things. That's what I got from this story at the end of the day. And in the own words of James Whitaker, which we'll read this so you guys and girls that want to correct me, because there's always correct people now. 
I got a lot of correctors in my chat. Feel free to correct me though if I get anything wrong, but my interpretation my interpretation at this point at least. Black identity is not a monolith and the black experience is not uniform. It's not just one. It is our diversity that is our strength. We unify in more ways than the world wants us to believe. All of our previous stories have led up to this moment. Building this first chapter we now bring to a close by opening our arms out to the world. Opening our arms out to the world, to everybody. Bring us in guys, let us, let's all come together. Different diversities of black culture. All of us opening our arms out to the world to bring us in. The diaspora and the world to celebrate unity and culture, but also the one common experience we all have, being desired for your culture. Never being told that you belong, but still showing up to do the work from dusk till dawn. That last little part right there hits. The interpretations of what you might think or what you may say or what you believe or what you think is gonna be different you know, between all that. But what I get from this shoe in general is this the overall, just showing the diversity within the black culture itself. It's not just one way. People say, oh, you talk black or you act in black. You know, like, there's, there's way more to it at the end of the day. People have said, I talk white. Am I like, you know, is there a way that you're supposed to, like, I just feel like there's way more diversity in the black culture, in the black identity at the end of the day than meets eye. And that is something that, in my opinion, needs to be put out more and more. And I feel like as people get older, that's something that we do recognize. Um, growing up as a kid, it's kind of like you're always being told or like the to fit in, you've got to fit this, this mold in a way. As you get older and you realize none of that shit matters, you kind of then become who you really want to become. And the, you know, later on in life and the things that people say as adults don't even matter no more because the shit that the people that are trying to tell you like how you should be, like more than likely they're not even living the life that they want to live. You know, so that's just what my interpretation is. I, I feel like this is a shoe for everybody, but his main part is about the black culture, the black identity. Meaning basically you can like this shoe, you can, you know, love the identity, the black culture and everything along with it, but just recognize the individuals that come along with it as well. That's just kind of what I get from it at least. And you know, maybe I'm going too far into it. This collection, The Dusk and Dawn, is a pack called The Still We Rise, which is an inspiration from Maya Angelou's poem, Still I Rise. And James Baldwin's is to be African without any memory and to be American without any privilege. That hit different, that hit different. But. I know that as much as I love the story that I love it too, guess what? A lot of these resellers and people out there don't give a damn about the story. They just give a damn about that resale price. But I like the story. The shoe itself is inspired by the beach, at least the dawn part. The dust part will be coming at a later date. There's not really a date yet as far as this video goes. And I think this will be a pair that may release at neighborhoods, Nike and Jordan stores, and that the black pair might be exclusive to Ama Manier. I'm just taking a guess. Don't hold me to it. But that's happened before where Ama Manier gets a certain colorway just for their store and then everything else kind of goes to neighborhoods and stuff like that. Bam! So the shoe itself, um, from what they said, I've heard suede and nubuck. This feeling the shoe itself and even looking at it guys, it feels like a nubuck. I mean, it don't have no fur to it whatsoever. And the shoe itself, you're gonna hear, this is gonna make y'all laugh, but this shoe, sluice to Mike Rich if you watching Mike, these looks like some Candler Road, Glenwood, flea market goddamn Jordan 5s right here, okay? If you grew up in the early 2000s in Atlanta, Metropolitan Parkway specifically for me is where I went, the USA market to be exact. You can get your pair of Jordan 5s for 50 bucks. The way these are cut, the shape, these look like some straight foo foo Jordan 5s. And you might be like, well then Tony, why you like them? They're like foo foo Jordan 5s. Well, because I know they're not foo foo. And I understand the appeal that they're going with here. They went with a more trimmed base Jordan 5 in my opinion. It's not as bulky. It doesn't even have the poked out horns on the side right there. It just looks like an overall trimmed Jordan 5 with the trash can top as my homie PT would say, man. The trash can tops, the fake pairs, this part would be like a goddamn ankle support system going on. Way different than your uh, real legit Jordan 5s. You got the 23 on the back, which looks, in my opinion, it looks slightly enlarged. It looks a little bit bigger than your typical 23 that you see on the Jordan 5s, um, but uh, no problem with that. Bam! My favorite part about this shoe is the embroidered popped out. Check it out from the angle. Nike Air, it's popped out. It's not flat, it's popped out. I like that. 3D embroidery is what they would call it, at least that's what I've called it to my vendors that when we get hats done that we want popped out, call it 3D embroidery at least. 
On the tongue, you got the Ama Manier logo in the 3M, and then you got that trimmed up tongue once again. And as you guys can see on the inside, even itself inside is not that much plush going on. The Nike Air on the insole is also popped out 3D imprinted embroidery. So something different. This tongue is of the regular Jordan. Nike on the back the same. And what they did differently, let me get my thumbnail. Guys, let me get my thumbnail, okay? Y'all gonna do it with it. We're gonna do it live. Woo! Check it out. You got the Amam and your A on the bottom here, and then the Jordan on this one with the piss yellow outsole. I like the piss yellow. It is what it is. I like the, I like the vintage look overall. I'm not against it. I'm not the guy that needs to go get the icy blue outsole and stuff like that. Oh yeah, my bad. Two, two separate sets of laces. One being in a white, pure white, and then one in like a eggnog, I would say. And these are, I, I believe the box even, what does the box say for this color? Did it say sale? No, Photon Dusk slash Black slash Pusadi, oh, Pusane? Pusire? Forgive me French people, but I can't explain it. So the Photon Dusk, a colorway we've heard of before with the Jordan 4. Um, and we see it on here as well. I like the original laces for now for the most part. You also have something really dope going on on the webbing. Check out the webbing on the shoe right here, as well as on the tongue. You might not be able to see it as much, but it's it took away those, those holes or those, I would say they're most like squares, right? And you have all my manure A's running through the actual, I don't want to call it netting. It's more like webbing because this material is like soft. You know, it's not like the Jordan 4 webbing. It's a whole different kind of webbing. But Alma Manier, the A symbols, the same symbol that you see on the box as well. It's kind of hard maybe to pick up, but maybe you can see it. You had those A's, the up and down A's. So very dope. Um, on the inside too, my bad. On the inside, you might be able to see it on the inside, like the inside, the navy blue, that blue type of color on the inside has those A's also being featured. The lace lock is of a, got that vintage piss yellow once again type of feel going on, check it out. Yeah, real nice, well Danny. I really like these, man. Um, I own the Jordan 1, I own the 3, I own the 4, I own a 12. I think I got rid of one of my 12. I think I still got the white the white 12. I'm gonna definitely probably be keeping these in the arsenal. I'm very happy with Al Mamanier because if you watch my channel, you know my words and you know what I say. I've spoken on the fact that I want them to start straying away from the same color, this color, this burgundy, even though I love it a lot. They are doing it with the dusk, but I want them just to do different colors because they got to be able to expand. Like you don't want to be on, like after a while, it's like the same color over and over. Nothing wrong with it. That's their identity at the end of the day. But just spicing things up expands things for people because some people might not like this color, but they're going to love this, you know, this, this blue. It's like a navy blue kind of, but I don't know, this, it, this looks different. When I saw that at first, you don't you don't automatically know, oh, that's Ama Manier. But then you hear it's Ama Manier, you're like, dude, that's it. Just it makes everything even better, in my opinion. Nothing wrong with keeping it. I love the burgundy color. I just think that doing something different is dope. So salute to them for doing something different here, for real. So stay on the lookout because these are coming also, I believe, November 17th. I want to say. Just wanted to confirm, and I want to be corrected. I'm seeing here. $225, November 17th, 2023. I said 250. Let me just double check again. Yeah, 225. So I'll stand corrected. 225. 225. And um, I'm gonna title this more than likely that same like sold out. But moving forward, I'm not gonna say sold out the shoes selling out or all that unless I am a thousand percent sure the shoes gonna sell out. I don't see these sitting. It is what it is. If these sit, then I might need to just stop doing YouTube and all on if these sit okay it is what it is these right here i just don't see that happening um you know it's on my mirror at the same time i didn't see it happening with the 12 but the five i feel like there's a lot i feel like there's a little bit more respect on a five than on a 12. unfortunately i hate to even say that but it is what it is when it comes to this new wave of sneaker heads and resellers and all that i love the 12s the 12 cherries and the playoff that drop amazing shoes i love them but i think that we will get more There'll be more hype around this shoe in general. This is what it is. These are instant sellouts, and this is where all the hype is going to be at moving forward. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.